Uh, Capcom is also releasing a new hundred dollar cartridge of Street Fighter Two for Super Nintendo. Uh, yeah, Iron Eight Bit is selling these things. Yeah, right. Yeah, I, think, right? yeah, I, I anniversary. I guess thirtieth. Thirtieth. Jesus Christ. Wait. Of Street Fighter One. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, huh. Right? Is that what it is? I'm trying to find. Oh, now I'm confused. I want to say thirty fifth, but no. Mm, no. Street Fighter One would have been yeah. like eighty seven. Late eighties. I thought, okay. Oh, okay. Wasn't yeah. Street Fighter, that old. Wasn't Street Fighter 2 92, though? Not that Which would late. make this. No, yeah, you're right. This says 20th, 30th, 30th, sorry. Okay. Yeah. 30th anniversary of Street Fighter, yeah. Like yeah. Of the franchise existing. I make So all that Street Fighter 1 nostalgia right. everyone's got. Yeah. Capitalize on that with a re release of Street Fighter 2. Here you go. Yeah, sure. it's. I, well, whatever. Street. To be fair, Street Fighter 1 is not a great game. No, it's not. <laughs> so uh, this is just a, a Super Nintendo reproduction I, it's card? A repro, well, it's a repro. There's a lot to it. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, it's just like, I guess start with the game. Like the software is the game, right? Like it's, it's, the, it's not it's the Super Nintendo version of Street is, Fighter 2. There's nothing changed about it. It is a repro. It, okay. it, yeah. they, have, they have come out and said it's a repro. It is not them busting open existing copies of the game and just putting that into a new shell. Okay. Which is how I thought that they would have done. It's, it's really? weird. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, uh, super cool uh, red case. Uh, I sometimes or a, or a green case. For, yeah, yeah. So like so, a thousand of them. So they're only putting out fifty five hundred of these things. Uh, Forty five hundred of them will be red, and a thousand will randomly be glow in the dark Blanca green. Randomly. Yes. Fuck yeah. You. No idea what you're getting until you buy. <laughs> it. Fuck no you. idea what you're getting until you pay a hundred dollars for no this shit. NES copy of and Street you have Fighter to Two. Open it up to see what's yeah. inside. Yes. Yeah, so like you why would, would open, you would open it and you might end up with this green? How many people are going to open this up? Translucently. It's a fucking repro. Who cares? Yeah. Like it's not like it's how some they... original. Like it's this artificial rarity bullshit. Like how... this thing is fucking lame. How are they charging a hundred dollars for this? Because they're they're only making. They said they're packing in some like retro goodies. Yeah. yeah there's I don't some other stuff in the box or whatever. Else is in there. Foil foil stamped box. Premium instruction manual. <laughs> oh, man. That's what they say. Uh, apparently, this is the first release in the Legacy Cartridge Collection for my M8 bit. Oh, so yeah. there's more coming. So they're getting into the repro business. Yeah. Uh, uh, which I didn't even know was a business. Man. Uh, typically, it is an illegal business because mm-hmm. it's people yeah, selling yeah. fucking bootlegs of Neo Geo games on eBay and shit like that. Yeah. Uh, or. Or like there's some Game Boy Advance games that have become really rare, but people have made repros. Yeah, yeah, they've done runs of them. But then there's also and like you know the limited run stuff that is like you know totally. Uh, yeah, I mean, and that's that's a different story, right? Yeah. I mean, that's like hey, with this digital game, we've decided to do a physical run of it. Like right. that's fine. Whatever. I guess I'm but, thinking it more in that sense. Than, yeah. Like, uh, whereas I look at this and go like like there. hey, congratulations, you made a bunch of fucking bootleg SNES carts. Like, way to go. I, I, that the idea yeah. that this would be a hundred dollars, like this, yeah. just seems like an utterly valueless thing. And they have to put the fucking like the uh, the warning on it. Okay, I was <laughs> you're gonna get to that, and I thought I was being taken for a ride because it sounds too crazy to be oh, real. But is it real? Uh, Should I, I just mean, read I, it? No, I, I don't think it's real. I think this is like when, you know when you're making repros, you don't give a fuck and whatever. But when you're Capcom and you're scared of everything because you're Capcom, oh, so it is a legit warning. I, 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 I took it as a legit warning. I, I, mean, I don't think is, that, I don't think it's actually going to set your Super Nintendo yeah, yeah, yeah. on fire. But but it's not a joke. Like they're issuing this warning for real. I assume. I assume. What so. is the if warning? it's a joke, it's, it's a bad joke. I'm gonna, I, you know, like I don't. And read the warning. This is this is actual fine print at the bottom of this webpage. Warning: Use of the, the this reproduction game cartridge on the SNES gaming hardware may cause the SNES console to overheat or catch fire. The SNES hardware is deemed a vintage collectible, so please exercise extreme caution when using the product and make sure there is a fire extinguisher nearby. How is that vintage? I like, uh, yeah, 90s, that's, you, that's well, of no, a I mean, vintage. It, all, it also says use of the product is at the sole risk era. of the user. Like, like, it's, it's a brand new like reproduction. Haven't, haven't they had 25 like, years to figure out how to reproduce a SNES cartridge without it setting a fire? I don't think that this is an actual problem. I, I think this is like lawyers like going, no, you need to put this on there because we don't have the Nintendo seal of quality okay. and all this other stuff. And, oh, oh God, like this is just Capcom probably being... I think it's kind of I, facetious. Like this game is so hot, it's gonna melt your. I, I don't. Sounds, I don't take that. At it does all. not yeah, read it's, like it is. It's got right. legalese in it. Yeah. But I, this is like whatever. Like it's it is it is an incredibly common cartridge. Yeah. You know, yeah. like if you want to own a SNES Street Fighter two, what? How much are they are on eBay? Like, Peter what, Peter Brown was incensed by this. I thing. am fucking, and I am as well. I think this is like fucking he was, just awful. Like just talking about uh, the ubiquity, yeah, of Street yeah. Fighter Two carts. Like, how the hard is it? The very idea that, like, that they would reproduce them, like one of the highest-selling SNES games of all time. 
I'll yeah, like what, fucking what? Like, not hard to go find a cart for a let. Mm, if you really want one, I I bought. Uh, we did a thing where we were buying lots of Super Famicom games yeah. and Famicom games yeah. where it was like hundred dollars, hundred carts. Yeah, I remember that. And there were like three Street Fighter twos in there. Yeah, four bucks, four bucks to get a real, genuine, actual article at a minimum. Yeah, yeah, I, like this is that it, won't set your super. Nintendo the, the, on fire. Yeah, that theoretically won't <laughs> set your fucking console on fire or cost a bunch of money. And hey, granted, it won't come in translucent plastic or whatever, but you could make your better one of these by go find someone who will make you the shells and put a real Street Fighter Two yeah. board in it. Yeah, man. Instead of this repro, I, well, whatever. It, 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 the software is the same. I, I just it, this is just gross. Yeah, I think it's super disgusting. Uh. That they're doing. I would somehow be more okay with it, and maybe I shouldn't be. But if if they were buying fifty five hundred copies of Street Fighter Two, yeah. busting them open and putting the putting, real putting boards new into shell. new shells, yeah. like somehow that I would at least feel like okay, well, there'd be some degree of legitimacy there. Yeah, it almost uh, feels like this was supposed to be like a collector's edition for some Street Fighter game that they just kind of uh, didn't yeah, throw wind up in. doing or something like that. And sold it by itself. Yeah, I, I just I think it's gross. It just it, it comes off as pretty opportunistic with like yeah. the SNES, NES, and SNES classics blowing up and like just kind of collecting becoming a bigger thing. Right. Uh, but isn't Street Fighter Two also on the SNES Classic? Yes, I believe. Yeah. I believe that is. That's uh, cheaper than this. <laughs> not the original Street Fighter Two. Uh, oh. Super or is it Turbo? I think it's Super. Hmm. I, I mean, the or- original super. Street Fighter Two SNES is not the one you want. Anyway, yeah, totally right? not. Uh, like it's I, probably the last I, one you I would want. want Turbo, but I understand Super is you know like very popular. <laughs> mm-hmm. People like the awful announcer, mm-hmm. uh, and all the voice changes they made. Uh, was that announcer ever in any other Street Fighters, or was it just in Super? It's just in Super. like it's not it's not and the guy Super from Turbo. it's not the guy from Alpha, right? No, no, no. It's no, definitely a different guy. Okay, definitely yeah. a different guy or a different voice. I mean, I don't yeah. know who the voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is. You know, who's actually doing it? But one very talented man. Yeah, all along. He could say things like round, you know, really well. And, right. Uh, Japan. But also, face it straight. You know, like all this other stuff. Go for broke. Yeah. Uh, does anybody ever track down the original Street Fighter 2 announcer guy? It's me. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Can you finally clear up once and for all if you're saying Thailand or that land? <laughs> it's that land. Okay. Yeah, I actually did it. That land. That land. My, yeah. cousin, my cousin back in the day, I think he was just trying to fool idiot kid me. He insisted that the announcer was saying that land because they didn't want to imply that the bad guys came from any specific country. Yeah. And oh, like nice. Paint that country in negative light. Yeah. They, they only did it for the home version. Okay. In the arcade, it said Thailand. And then they realized, like, hey, that's really insensitive to... People in Thailand, so... I told him he was full of shit at the time. Smart. He but in the back of the ha- your head, you were like, he wouldn't, he wouldn't, I wonder. He wouldn't, yeah. he wouldn't, he wouldn't I mean, it stuck it. with you. you. You've been wondering <laughs> to this day, and I'm finally here to clear it up for you. Yeah. Uh, he was right all along. Yes. <laughs> yeah, this... I, I... Feels like it's missing the point. It feels of... very misguided yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and opportunistic, yes. and, and repros, I think, are a weird thing anyway, and... Yeah. I think there are, when when repros are done, uh, yeah, I, mm, I don't know, man. It's like there are some nice repros of actual rare games, and in those cases where the the rare version of the game is incredibly hard to get and all this other stuff, I see why someone might be willing to settle for a lesser article if it is like well produced. Right. There's been some some PC Engine stuff that has been uh, re released, and they do nice J cards and all this other stuff. Yeah. And you know, like okay, I guess I see why someone might be into this even though it's like you're buying a bootleg copy of a game yeah. like at some people, point if people you're... that are buying it they're, they're not going to be playing it they're going to be displaying it to some i mean i guess that's i guess, I guess that's where they're yeah. coming at it from is that they see it more as like merchandise or a yeah. collectible than as an actual like delivery mechanism for a video game right and i can i can get behind that I, you know kind of in the same way they put out all that res merch like, last yeah. year and stuff but like, like that, that was but... all like you know custom just buy a fucking street fighter 2 cart if you really want yeah. custom hot fucking merchandise to honor Street Fighter 2 for the Super Nintendo, get the original cart, drill two holes in it, run a fat rope chain through it, and wear it around your neck. <laughs> Done. Done. <laughs> uh, Once again, I'll ask somebody to Photoshop that for us by the end of yes. the show. <laughs> honor the genuine article uh, by destroying one of them <laughs> and thus making the rest of them in the marketplace somehow just a slightly more uh, rare and I thus valuable. Love, I would love to see somebody... 
Man, somebody I feel like somebody in the rap game should be wearing that. I need that spray pony. Like, like a gold dipped. Yeah. 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 Uh, I could I fully fully endorse that. Yeah. Thirty years is a fucking long time though. Or go buy a Street Fighter two yeah. cabinet. If you really love the game so much, go all the way. That's what I did. Wear Don't that do that. Get the real thing. Those are probably sold in fair numbers, right? Uh, y- yeah. I mean, well, the, I mean, if you're looking for a full, complete cabinet, mm-hmm. all the same side art, all the other stuff, well, whatever. That game was so popular that yes, you could find one. Uh, uh, four bucks on eBay, right? Yeah, four bucks. No, no. Here's one. Hmm. How 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 legit is the pinball company? Because they're selling one for three grand. Three grand. That's yeah, too. That's a. Hey, that is too high. much money. Refurbished. Starting at two hundred and sixty-four dollars a month. A oh, month? Yeah. If you want to finance your Street oh, Fighter 2 is this a rental thing? <laughs> well, no, it's probably it's like renting. a finance thing. Well, I mean, oh, I would thought like that a, maybe they rent it out to the arcade or something. For maybe. Yeah. That amount of money. I don't know. Uh, $3,000 if, if that thing's in pristine shape. No, no, no. It's probably not. That's probably crazy. $3,000 for probably a Street crazy. Fighter 2 cabinet. Here's, here's a bunch on eBay for more like eight, nine hundred bucks. Yeah, that's say. Five hundred is a good deal. thousand is probably top on that. I want to say that we paid 500 for that one that I've got and then... The monitor went well. We kept it in a very wet bar, mm. kept it in a very damp room for a while. That, I'm yeah. sure that didn't help. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, the I mean, if you just need the board, like the board itself, if you've already got a, a means to play arcade boards yeah. and the buttons and you know the kick harness and all that stuff, but boards are cheap. Or if you need, you wouldn't need a kick harness. To, anyway, anyway, anyway. Lastly, I, they shouldn't. Uh, don't. Spend a hundred dollars <laughs> no. on a fucking fake Street Fighter Two. Don't don't do it. Don't do it. 